Hey, so this is going to be a little bit of a longer video kind of talking about tone and how we get really good tone, but I'm just going to start off with the elbow movements and the open strings. Um, I usually do this with my students like beginning halfway through book one once we start really thinking about developing our tone. So if you just want to watch the elbow movements, you can just watch the first bit and stop. But if you want to hear kind of an explanation of why we're doing this, um, keep watching. So. On the E string, you want to make a backwards J shape. So you're going to go down and out. It's important that you don't go back, not like that, but just up like that, like a chicken wing. So we go. And I'm staying in lane two the whole time. backwards J. And G is like A, smiles, but it's a little bit more wide, like a big white grin. So the reason that we're going to do this and play these this way is that we're playing our elbow and therefore our bow um, is sinking the opposite way that the bridge is. So like on the E string, it kind of goes like rip. The string over the bridge goes rip. So our elbow is going to go rip the opposite way. Um, and that makes us have a clear, consistent um, pressure throughout the entire bow stroke that we have. And the idea is like if at any point, you know, say I'm going like this, someone were trying to like whack, oops, whack my tip, tip off like that, it's going to be difficult to do. Whereas if I'm just going to go like, whoa, that's really easy there. But if I'm sinking, it's barely going to come off the string there. Um, so everything is the opposite curve of the bridge. Um, and then yeah, basically you want to make sure that you're playing with an arm sound, not a hand sound. So there is a little bit of thumb and pinky action, like they are awake a little bit when we play, but not much. It's, everything's really coming from our back. Like this is where everything's initiating here, traveling through here, and then eventually coming here. Just something has to hold the bow, right? Like we can't just play, we can't play it like this. Like there's no, we can't play the bow from our back. I wish we could though. Um, eventually our fingers come in to do like a little spiccato things and weird bow strokes. But for now, just for playing with good tone, I almost wish the, like the fingers didn't exist. Think of it as coming from your back. So you can do that wet laundry exercise. Like that's the kind of, that's the kind of sound that we want to have. We want to have a arm sound. Um, so yeah, think of it as it's coming from our back. Then the arm produces the sound. Um, yeah. I remember when my students had a funny analogy where like the strings are the highway the bow is the car, the hand is the kid, and the arm is the parent. Um, let the parent drive the car, don't let the kid drive the car. Um, we may lose control of the car if that happens, we might slam on the brakes, we may go the wrong, rain, uh, the wrong lane, so let the adult drive the car there. Um, you want to have good like jellyfish knees when you play too. Um, think of your body like a hose. If you go like, if you like crank your, um, if you crank the hose, and you make your knees kind of pop back like that, it's going to cause a break in the hose and like the music flowing through you. Um, Suzuki used to talk about four different types of tones. There's water spider tone, goldfish tone, otter tone, and tuna tone. Water spider might be like goldfish tone, otter tone, and then tuna tone. for that tuna tone there and that's going to come from these elbow movements that we're doing here the tone you can also think of like we talked about coming from the back down the arm it also comes from the thumb that's why it's really important that we have a bent thumb um, the thumb pushes up um, so the tone comes from the arm weight but then the thumb is kind of the vehicle for the arm weight um, you can also think of I've like heard people talk about like the different tones being like what is it like marshmallow 
milk chocolate and then like rich dark chocolate or something like that so if that makes more sense too but just think as big of a sun as you possibly can um let me see if there's anything else you could also, oh, to like really feel that big sound and how we want it to feel, you could have your bow go upside down and play Mississippi Hot Dog or something. You feel the weight of the frog kind of coming down there and that's a really good way to feel tone too. Um, okay, I don't think I need to talk anymore about this, but I would say, okay, so elbow going the opposite way of the bridge let the bow play, get out of the way of the bow, let the arm play. Um, make sure you have, you're standing with good feet, bendy knees, um, initiate the bow stroke from the back right shoulder. Um, and yeah, just make sure that you have an arm sound, not a hand sound. Okay. Happy practicing.